Okay, so let's do a few scientific notation examples. And so the first one that we're going to do is let's put 65 million in scientific notation. Okay, so there's 65 million. All right, now how do we put this number into scientific notation? And the reason we want to do that is this is relatively inconvenient to work with and scientific notation is much easier and we can easily see the number of significant figures in this number. So first off, how many sig figs are there in this number? All right, so all of these zeros are insignificant. So they are just placeholders. They just hold the place and keep the magnitude of the number. So this particular number only has two significant figures. If I had a decimal place after the last zero, that's when all of those zeros would be significant. But I don't, so they are not significant. So let's go ahead and now put this number into scientific notation. And So what I'm going to do is pretend that there's a decimal place here. And I'm going to move the decimal place to the left until I have only one number before the decimal place. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 6.5. And then I move the decimal place seven places, so that I'm going to write times 10 to the seventh. And notice that we have a positive exponent here, and that indicates that this is a large number. And we're going to see a few examples where it's a, for a small number where we're moving the decimal place to the right, and that's going to give us a negative exponent. But this is a large number. 65 million is a large number. And so the way to write it in scientific notation is 6.5 times 10 to the 7th, and we can easily t see our two sig figs when the number is in scientific notation. Okay, so let's do another one. Now let's do 93,650,000. All right, so again, we're going to put in our imaginary decimal place. Okay, and we're going to move the decimal place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. And I'm going to write 9.3 and then 6.5. All those non-zero numbers are significant. These zeros are insignificant. So 9.365 times 10 to the seventh. So that's how we would write that number in scientific notation. Another one that you're going to see a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and write it down, is 1,000. And so let's go ahead and put that one in scientific notation in the same way. So put in our imaginary decimal place. One, two, three. So it's going to give us one times ten to the three. And then remember, ten to the third. And then remember, one kilometer is equal to ten to the third meters. So that's just this part. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so these two things mean the same thing. Okay, so let's do a few really little numbers now. So I'm going to write down another one. Actually, let's go ahead and get a different color. Use purple. Okay, and I'm going to write down 0 0.12345 zeros there, and then one zero. And first, let's look at the sig figs in this number. And these are a little bit harder. So these preceding zeros right here, those are placeholders. This guy, the one that's after a non-zero number, after the decimal place, is significant. That's a significant zero. So when I write my scientific notation, I want to make sure that I write 1.0 as opposed to just 1, like we did up here because there were only there was only one significant figure in 1000. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So, I'm going to move my decimal place. This time I have a real decimal place. So, 1 2 2 
three, four, five, six, until I have one number to the left of the decimal place. So 1.0, and then one, two, three, four, five, six places, so times 10 to the negative 6. So these negative exponents are going to indicate very, very small numbers. And this is a really small number. Okay, and the last thing also, of course, here are our significant figures, two significant figures, because there was a zero after a non-zero number to the right of the decimal place. Okay, so let's do another one here. And so I'll get another color so we can keep ourselves straight here. Um, 0 0.00000093. Okay, so why don't you pause it and try it. Okay, so we're going to take our decimal place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 9.3 times 10. Clean that up a little bit. Times 10 to the negative 7. So remember, negative exponents indicate small numbers. And we have two sig figs. Both of these numbers have two sig figs, but it's easier to see in scientific notation. And notice that we're not counting the exponent in these significant figures in any of these numbers. All right, so one last one for you to try on a new screen. So why don't you try putting this one into scientific notation. Okay, so you ready? So one, two, three, four. So 2.03 these are all significant. So 2.03 times 10 to the negative 4. Because we move the decimal place to the right four places.